Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to make a quick sketch of the basic sine graph y equals 2 sine x. So to get ourselves set up we have the general form of the equation y equals a sine bx that helps us identify our essentials in step 1. Step 2 and step 3 will be very quick and easy. You can apply this method to graph any basic sine graph. So jumping right into step 1 we see a is the leading coefficient in our equation here that's a 2. That's going to help us set the y coordinate for our maximum and minimum key points in step two. That's also known as the amplitude, distance from midline up to max or down to min. All right, then b, we can see there's nothing in front of that x, so we understand there's a one there. That helps us find the period. It's super easy in this case because the formula is two pi over b and two pi over one is just two pi. That's the length of one cycle horizontally. And to make this really easy on ourselves when we're graphing, we're going to take our period and divide it by four so that each of our key points in step two lines up nicely with one of our tick marks horizontally. So two pi divided by four simplifies down to pi over two. So we will count by one pi over two. Let's go ahead and label our horizontal axis. So one pi over two, two pi over two, of course reduces to pi, three pi over two, and then 4 pi over 2 reduces to 2 pi. This fourth label right here, this fourth tick mark, should always match our period if we do it this way. Now we'll count, set up our tick marks for our vertical axis. I usually look to A here. As long as it's a number pretty close to 1, I count by 1s. Just to keep everything nice and standard, it's good for comparison if you're graphing multiples. So we've got that labeled, and we're ready for step 2, plot those key points. Now recall our sign pattern starts at the origin with our first 0, 0, 1. Then we'll do maximum, 0, 2, minimum. And that'll be our first complete cycle. So plot your point at the origin. Our maximum occurs at our first horizontal tick mark, pi over 2. And to get the y coordinate, simply look back to that a value. It's 2 in this case, so we know that's the y coordinate. And you can see the amplitude, so the distance from one of your zeros vertically up to that point, that maximum, is two units. Okay, great. Back to our pattern, we see our next tick mark here at pi will be a zero. And then our minimum will happen at our third tick mark moving right. So that's at three pi over two. And to get the y coordinate here, just take the opposite value of a. So that's at negative two. And you can see that's still an amplitude of two distance from that midline, which is here on the x-axis up to a maximum or down to a minimum, a distance of two units. All right, so now we're ready to sketch in our sine curve. Starting at that origin point, connect all our dots, the pattern will repeat at two pi, and you can repeat in the negative direction as well. So this is one cycle of two sine x. Hopefully this method helped you understand how to make a quick sketch of a basic sine graph. Don't forget to subscribe for more help with graphing and lots of other math topics.